Akmedelmar, agroplants.org, also known as Akmea Ditch Lamidia. This herbaceous bromelad eats perennial evergreen or people grow it as an annual plant for some reasons, uh, as a bouquet. Use as ornamental, uh, the flowers can use the brackets actually, can use the cut flowers and can grow in variety of climate, tropical, subtropical, mediterranean or mediterranean climate and also possible to grow it indoor as a house plant. Except this, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side and if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. And except this, uh, always you can subscribe if you like plants and I assume that if you arrived at this video, you like plants, this is your ch the, the channel for you. You must, not must, but you should subscribe. And if you like this video, of course, do like, but this is hardiness on, so let's go a little bit about growing. This is the important part. So hardiness on will be from 11 plus. The leaf colors are green, not something special. In rosette structures they grow. Uh, every time you see rosette, it means a new plant. There is possible for a few plants that growing together. They create like a mother plant with a lot of daughter plants around it. And the flowers are pink in a cone shape. And the, what you see as a dandorf, it's like the brackets are purple with white. And the, also the flower color are purple with pink. So how to grow it? So well-drained soil, moist soil, warm climate, better above 15 Celsius, it means 59 Fahrenheit. Can survive 10 Celsius, it means uh, 55 Fahrenheit, but better not to. Uh, better to use, of course, rainwater, purified water, and soil should be something uh, energetic and light. Uh, plants mostly are air plant, and they live in the nature on trees, crocs, or just the rocks. Uh, the air roots in the tropical forest with a big amount of rains, but it means that all the rain go, go away because it's not really on the soil, so they are not going, uh, there, it's, there isn't pond. Usually there might be, but usually the water go down. Um, except this, better to start from uh, daughter plants. It's much easier, pups or daughter plants really easier than to start by seeds and it's really hard to find seeds uh, I'm assuming it's connected to problem of pollination so it means that you will if in order to get seeds you need to hand pollinate um, major problems uh, it's that uh, when you have water what water the plant you need to put some water in the rosette structure in the middle and this might cause some uh, mosquito attraction for the in, into the plant, so just dry it once in a while. And uh, if you have larvas, kill all the, the larvas of the mosquitoes. Uh, planting season can be all the year, especially when you grow it uh, indoor. A plant, a pest or disease can be aphids, shrimps, weevils, scale insect, or mealybugs. Pruning season can be all the year. It's for dead uh, bloom stems and dead leaves. Height of the plant will be from 20 to 80 centimeters, so it means 8 to 32 inches. And in the right condition, it will be a medium growing plant. And when it's young plant, it will be very slow growing plant. Uh, in the winter, it will grow less fast than in the spring and the summer, especially if it's uh, colder. Requirement of water. So as I said, purified water, uh, but well ventilated and well drained soil. Uh, don't let the water sit on the soil too much, uh, it will kill the roots. Require actually small amount of water if you the water stand, and you can increase the amount of water if you have a good drainage or you grow it as an air, air, air plant. Except this, uh, if you put water, also important the humidity and the moist soil, let it dry between uh, times, but let it usually moist. You can use peat moss or uh, something like this to keep the the moist and this plant will grow in light condition of full shade uh, possible some light like this plant likes the light but full sun uh, will burn it probably and except this it's optional to grow it as a house plant uh, just don't put it next to uh, heaters ventilators or other kind of uh, mechanical uh, things like this uh, if you plant it in a container of course uh, 
put it with a light a possible pit soil with some uh, perlite something that will be a well ventilated soil it's important for the plant if not if it will be too much heavy soil uh, the roots will be rotten and except this blooming season might be all the year uh, of course you can provocate the bloom season but it's highly not recommend to do it uh, usually people use ethylene or rotten apple and this is do the job but uh, I highly recommend just let the plant uh, and when the time will arrive it just will uh, bloom by itself and don't play with the, the because there is side effects for these kind of things uh, you might uh, cause for the plant uh, if you don't put enough fertilizer and the plant is weak you might kill the plant just because you want a little bit more flowers except this it's a, a great house plant to grow without a, a crazy uh, instruction to grow it's just it's not very hard to grow this is the deal here and it's beautiful flowers so if you like it maybe you should consider to grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again